this is Britt Caswell with another example video. In this video, I'm covering example 4 from section 2-2 in the Savas Realized Algebra 2 textbook. In this video, we are going to be writing the equation of a parabola when we are given three points that lie on the parabola. All right. Now, in order to do this, uh, we are going to need to remember the standard form of the quadratic. Now notice here, I said the standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c, is equal to y, instead of y equals to all that, because we're going to need a matrix. Now normally with this type of equation, we normally have an a value, a b value, and a c value that we know. right? Those usually appear in the formula. In this situation, we are trying to find what a, b, and c are. So because there's three variables we don't know, we're going to need to write three equations to find them. And that's where the three points come into play. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of these points and I'm going to plug them into the equation for x and y and then use a matrix to find what a, b, and c are. So let's try this first one. So I get a times x squared, so negative 2 squared plus b times x, which is negative 2, plus c is equal to y, which is uh, 32. And so now I need to kind of clean up this equation, right? We usually want numbers in front of the letters. So negative 2 squared is 4, so this is 4a. Negative 2 times b is minus 2b plus c equals 32. And so that's what's going to go into the top row of my matrix. Now remember I just write the coefficients, so I have 4, negative 2, 1, and 32. Let's go ahead and do our second equation. Okay, now I'm replacing the a, b, or sorry, the x's with 1 and the y with 5. So I get a times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c, and that's going to equal to 5. And then we clean this up. 1 squared is 1, so this is just 1a, plus 1 times b is just 1b plus c equals 5, and that's my second row for my decimals, for my matrix. So I have 1, 1, 1, 5, because those are each of the coefficients. Now my third equation for my third point, all right, I get a times 3 squared plus b times 3 plus c equals 17. So 3 squared is 9, so I have 9a plus 3b plus c equals 17. So this gives me 9, 3, 1, 17. Now you could do this matrix on any calculator or you could do it by hand. I choose to use desmos.com slash matrix because it's uh, super useful. So I'm going to click on New Matrix, add a couple of columns in a row so that I have a 4 by 3, type in my values, and then double check your values. Make sure, make sure you're not making any goofs. Alright, looks good. You're going to click outside of the matrix, hit RREF, and whatever variable you have. In this case, I used A, right, because that's what letter was there. And here's my resulting matrix. So what this is saying is that my A value is 3, my B value is negative 6, and my C value is 8. So using this general form, I'm going to say A x squared plus B x plus C 
is equal to y, or you can call that f of x and move it to the front. Uh, there it is, the standard form of this equation. Let's go ahead and let's try another one. Alright, so here's my matrix ready to go. So for this first point, I'm going to have a x squared, so a times 2 squared, plus b x. Remember that x is a 2. Plus c is equal to my y value, which is negative 12. Now I go to simplify my values, right? 2 squared is 4, so I have 4a plus 2b plus c equals negative 12. So in my matrix, I have 4, 2, 1, and negative 12. For this point, I have a times negative 1 squared for x, plus b times negative 1 plus c equals negative 15. Now, negative 1 squared is a positive 1, so this is just an a. And then b times negative 1 is negative b, plus c equals negative 15. So in my matrix, I have 1, negative 1, 1, negative 15. Here's our third one. So for all my x's, I'm going to use negative 4. And then for my y, I use negative 90. So negative 4 squared is 16. So this is 16a. Negative 4 times b is minus 4b. So in my matrix, I have 16, negative 4, 1, negative 90. So in Desmos, I create a new matrix, add a couple of columns in a row, go ahead and type those in here, double check our work, looks good, click outside the matrix somewhere. R -E -E -F, and then this time I'm going to use B because there's a B here. So on my, on my solution, I have negative 4 for A, 5 for B, and negative 6 for C. So the equation here is going to say negative 4x squared plus 5x minus 6 equals y, or again, you could put the f of x in the front for function notation. But that's it. That's how to write an equation of a parabola when you're given the three points. Until next time.